Hello folks, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to set up Ansible on Mac OS. So we all know about Ansible, right? Ansible is, you know, one of the popular configuration management tools out there. Using Ansible, you can manage configuration of uh, all the systems and uh, applications. Um, so Ansible is an open source which is managed by Red Hat currently. Um, so yeah, so Ansible can be installed on many operating system. In this video, we are going to learn how to set up on a Mac OS. Let's quickly see if I have Ansible installed. So I don't have Ansible installed. Let's also see if I have pip installed. So I don't have anything installed, right? So, so let's get started. We need to first, uh, you know, install pip. Like I said, pip is nothing but it's a package manager for Python. So we can install using this command, okay? And then you can, uh, once you download, you can install it. Okay, so that is the command. I'm gonna put in my uh, system password. Okay, so right now pip is being installed. Actually it is installed. Let's quickly check the version of pip. So this is the version. Okay, so we are actually good with pip. So pip is uh, installed. Sometime, you know, you may not see pip version right after you install. All you have to do is, you know, just close, uh, you know, close your terminal and then open again. Uh, you know, you should be able to see that as well, okay? So, so just in case, okay? So this is the uh, pip version. Once you have pip installed, you can, uh, you know, quickly go ahead and then install like this, okay? So, uh, you know, this particular command is going to install Ansible at the global user level, okay? So if you want to do it at the user level, you can also do that. But I'm going to install at uh, global level. So that is the command. Okay, so currently Ansible is being installed. Okay, so Ansible is being installed and then you can quickly verify the version of that. So at the time of, you know, this particular video, so this is the version. The version may be different, you know, depending on when you are executing this, okay? Awesome, so that's how, right? So that's how you install Ansible. So once you set up Ansible, uh, you can also install a Boto framework as well. So Boto framework is nothing but, uh, especially if you want to connect to um, AWS cloud, right? So if you want to access uh, some of the AWS resources using Ansible, uh, so this is something you'll have to install. Again, you know, you're gonna use pip for installing Boto framework. Uh, so it can be installed by executing this command. And then if you want to install Boto 3, 